ladies and gentlemen, we have this Eugene Russo. This is the Jazz Hard Rubber Mouthpiece. This is the JDX. He is an avid Yamaha endorser. So I was very surprised to turn the box over and see. Dun, dun, dun. Selmer! Alright. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. But at any rate, this is the box that it comes in when you order this through, through a musician's friend like I did. This costs $119, $120. And I have a few $120 mouthpieces that I will be comparing for you guys. So let's open this up and see what we got. Ooh, it actually comes in a plastic bag. As you can see, this does not come with a ligature. I have not had a chance to play through this mouthpiece yet, but you get a plastic bag. Do yourself a favor and throw this bag away when you get this mouthpiece because you don't want to go through customs and have little empty bags like this, believe me. All right, so we have our Eugene Russo label here. Jazz Model JDX. This is a five. Eugene Russo USA. I like the way this mouthpiece looks. I love it when these mouthpieces have this bit right here so that way you can adjust it from this angle and not right here where the ligature would sit. You know, assuming if they gave you one, which they don't. So let's take a look at the inside. You can see how much material there is on this mouthpiece from the back. I'm anxious to see what that's going to sound like, how that affects the sound. Very solid piece of hard rubber. Let's use this light like this. And if I'm not mistaken, it almost looks like a small chamber mouthpiece, but it does look like it opens up just a little bit when you get into the, when, once you get past the bore of the mouthpiece. So let's see what the inside facing of this mouthpiece looks like. All right, so this is very indicative of what you'd get from a jazz mouthpiece with this aggressive type of baffle here. It doesn't look like there's much of a forehead that's on this mouthpiece at all. But there's a very steep angle change. So let's look at it from this angle here. We can see how we have this grooved cutout. That's something that's very similar to what was on the Theowani hard rubber mouthpiece. So we have our primary triangle there. It gives us a good indication how much baffling is here. Let you see what that looks like. And we can see we have this curved chin area right here. And as you can see, there is a defect alert that is blatantly obvious how this rail is thinner than this rail on here. I don't know how much of an effect that's going to have on the sound, but if it does, I will let you know. And if it's terrible, I'm sending it back. I'll probably wind up keeping it though. And let's look at it from the inside part here. You can see how the inner chin area is pretty thick, similar to the way the Dukoff M8 is. So we have relatively thin rails. I'm gonna have to take a much closer look at this because these rails do not look like they are the same size at all. This is a five. I believe that this is very close to a, a 95 tip opening. So there we have it. The Eugene Russo JTX 5. <laughs> This is the absolute worst mouthpiece I've ever played in my life. And I have no idea why it's doing it. I need to take another look at it to see if the defects that I already pointed out are worse than what I thought they were the first time. Like down low is okay.
just up high, like not even altissimo, just up high, it just completely dies. Completely dies. And this five isn't even that small of a facing. <laughs> There's some kind of balance down low, but wow. It keeps changing. It's like I'm playing four different bad mouthpieces all at once. I don't even. Yeah, all right. Okay, so I took another look at this um, JDX-5 and there's something else that's a defect. I already pointed out how this rail is thinner than this rail, but this problem actually extends up to the tip rail itself. And it's, as you can see on this side here, on the left side, it looks much different from the way it looks on this side. You can see how much thinner that is on this side than it is on the left side. And I'm willing to bet that that is the reason why this mouthpiece is completely and totally unplayable. So I'll either send this back or I might just, I don't even know if this is a real fixable kind of issue. So, I'll either send it back or I'll try to work on it to try and salvage this in some way whatsoever. I mean, I know it's only 120 bucks, but even still, when you get a plastic Rico Metallite for $30 that outplays this thing in every way possible, there's no excuse for that. So, there you go. That is my review of the Eugene Russo Jazz Model JDX-5.